My name is John Kowalczyk. I am a local muralist, community artist, um, just huge advocate for public art and murals and street art. The title of this is The Flight of Beauty and Unity, and again, it's inspired by um, these different species of moths from all over the world coming together, uh, kind of displaying their beautiful colors and patterns, and just having a great time all flying around together. I really believe that access to art should be available to everybody and it really um, can kind of lift the human spirit and bring some joy to a mundane part of your day. This art is here for everybody all day long. Um, painting in public areas has a somewhat kind of sacred feel to me. I think public space is really important and um, should be enjoyed by everybody. And I think that beautifying public spaces just uplifts the entire community. The process behind getting a mural like this to scale and on the wall is, um, has a lot of steps to it. And it all begins digitally. I design it all um, on an iPad. And I take photographs of the wall and overlay um, my drawings and sketches to see what's gonna work out. After that, um, there's a process where I transfer the design to the actual wall, and I use a doodle grid method. So at the very beginning of the mural, um, there were just a lot of random letters and symbols and words on the wall, and that actually becomes a map or a grid because I photograph those letters on the wall and then overlay my design digitally, and I know um, where to place everything, gauging by the uh, the marks that were previously there that I photographed. Um, and that was a little scary for the community. They thought someone had come and vandalized or graffitied the whole wall, but really that's just a method to get the design to scale and get it up there quickly. From there, I get the outline of all the moths, and then I was uh, starting to fill in the background colors. Um, started with some cool colors of like teal and blue and kind of yellowish cream and then I was building up some warmer colors like orange and magenta on top of that. And then came the moths and all the other colors. So this wall is about 190 feet long um, and about 20 feet tall at the tallest point, I guess, and it kind of stair steps around at different heights. For gallons of paint, I'm using kind of uh, two different kinds of paint, so I'm using latex exterior house paint and I'm also using cans of spray paint and um, to prime the wall we use 22 gallons of paint. I put about 10 more gallons of uh, colorful paint on top of that and then I'm using probably 150 cans of spray paint or so on top of everything. Considering the wall is so long and narrow, if you think of a rectangle, it, it would just be sort of like a sliver. So I have to actually almost design it in sections and then kind of piece that all together. So I was photographing the wall in probably four separate photos and then stitching those together digitally um, just to make sure that it would have a good flow and rhythm throughout the whole piece and that the, the small sketch actually translated to the larger wall. The largest mural I've ever done. Um, I did another one pretty close to this size, but this is the biggest one. I went to Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design about 10 years ago or so and got a degree in painting there um, and kind of fell in love with the city of Milwaukee. I've been doing community projects all over Wisconsin. I work for a nonprofit and I also create my own paintings and artwork in my studio. I do a lot of collage and mixed media paintings. I do some sculpture and mosaic work as well. The kind of method behind uh, my painting style really is I'm thinking about building up the colors in layers. A lot of times I'll do a base coat of a solid color and then come back with the spray paint on top of that to add the uh, different shades and the texture and the, you know, the patterns and things. And I'm kind of working each moth. So I kind of started with all the light blue ones and then I did all the orange ones and then I did the magenta ones just because it makes it a little easier for me once I figure out my method, I can repeat that if there's the same moth kind of somewhere else. For example, on this large moth here, 
I started with a base layer of like a magenta color and then I was able to add different shades of that magenta on top to give it the texture. The idea behind all these moths uh, kind of flying around on this mural came from um, First off, just kind of a love of nature and pattern and color. I love all the uh, kind of natural color combinations that happen within the moths and how they all sort of complement each other. And then a little bit more um, behind the idea is that these moths are all from different countries of the world. I do a lot of research kind of going into the design, so I um, do a lot of stuff online, just kind of Googling images and um, learning about the different species. I've always really enjoyed the Milwaukee Public Museum. They have an awesome like butterfly and moth um, habitat and you can go see all the different uh, cocoons and chrysalises and some of these moths in person there too. So I thought kind of displaying them and having them all sort of flying together in this you know beautiful kind of unified fashion um, just promoted a sense of inclusion and a sense of community and a sense that um, when we do come together, um, you know, even amongst our differences, there's a lot of beauty and a lot of great things that happen. So these big orange moths here are actually from China and they are the um, silk moth. So this is what the moth that produces the threads of silk. Um, and I just thought it was neat to have a moth represented from China. And again, that, you know, these are the moths that actually produce silk that everybody likes so much. Uh, from start to finish on the actual wall, it's been about three weeks. It'll probably be about four weeks by the time it's all clear coated and sealed. Previous to that, I think a lot of people forget about all the design work and kind of planning that goes into a project of this scale, which definitely took, you know, a good week or two in itself as well. I don't know the future for this ground part yet, but I would love to see uh, some wildflowers or some native plants here. I think that could be kind of nice. I know grass could be an option. It's a little bit slanted. I don't know how hard it is to maintain that, but you know, a natural prairie of some native plants could do its thing, I think. So it's been such a pleasure to work with the city of West Dallas. I'm so grateful for the opportunity. It's been really awesome how they are just embracing artists and art and letting them do their thing in the community. This was a very serendipitous project because I had actually submitted this design um, last year when they did some murals and it you know, didn't work out. And this year it did work out, which is awesome. So um, it was just great to bring this idea to life. It really is a dream come true for me as an artist to be able to um, you know, share my art on such a large scale with such a great community. This wall was chosen by the city of West Dallas. I heard from some neighbors that uh, you know, like some unsavory activity was happening and there was some a lot of brush and trees and people were kind of getting behind there. And if we can uh, eliminate that opportunity with some beautiful artwork, it's just kind of a, another added bonus for the community. I have a couple more murals lined up. I'm going to be painting a, a restaurant that's opening on Burleigh Street in River West called Dino's. And then uh, after Dino's, I'll be working on a doggy daycare facility actually, doing some fun murals inside of there. You know, as an artist, I'm always looking for more opportunities to engage the community and help bring their vision to life and help tell the stories that people want to see in their neighborhood. So I'm always looking for more walls. My artwork can be seen at Scout Gallery in Milwaukee or on my website at johnkowalczykart.com or you can follow me on Instagram, just at John Kowalczyk. And then I'm usually popping up at different galleries and things like that throughout the city.